Hi everybody and welcome back to the second video in our series of converting this awesome Ferrari 308 GTE. Um, we're at phase two now so just to recap phase one is essentially where we just rip out anything that's dirty and smelly out of the car so engine, gearbox, exhaust, fuel tank, fuel lines, coolant systems all gets ripped out uh, essentially prepping it all up for what we need to put back into the car. So that was phase one. Um, phase two, which we're just at the end of now, is where we fire up the welder essentially and just uh, cover all the fabrication that we need to do. So essentially we've just been concentrating on things like battery boxes, motor mounts, and any other sort of like mounts that we need to um, install equipment that we need such as DC to DC converters, etc. So we're at the end, uh, essentially at the end of phase two now, so we've done most of the fabrication work. So this video I'm going to run you through what we've been busy with, basically. So first thing I think we'll do is start in the rear here. So let's open up the, the old engine bay, now motor bay. So let's run you through what we've been doing at the back end here. So as with any electric car, two important elements, batteries and motor. So uh, we've got the main battery box in this area here, so we've put it nice and low down, uh, just sitting on the chassis rails down here. That's the main battery box, we've got about 10 batteries going in here, uh, about 25 kilowatt hours worth of batteries. And also it's nice and central to the car, always what we try and do, especially on the performance conversions that we do, is make sure that the weight distribution um, is uh, at least as good, if not better, than it was originally. So the idea here is to essentially put that battery box just behind the butt of the seats um, uh, forward of the rear uh, axles so essentially it's got that perfect weight distribution and it's one of the reasons why we put the motor in the orientation that we have uh, anybody that's familiar with um, Tesla motors will be seeing that we've flipped the motor around and wondering why or how we've done that and we'll cover that later um, so there's the main battery box down there as I say we've got another one up front which I'll run you through in a minute uh, we've got a, another uh, electrical box on top here. We've, so we've done all the engine mounts or motor mounts, sorry, um, uh, to mount the Tesla motor in. It's not actually in at the moment for this video, but uh, I'll show you uh, an image of that so actually sitting in there. So we've got the electrical box here. We've also got radiators here. So most people will be wondering uh, why we've got radiators for an electric motor, but they still need to be cooled. So we've got one either side here. Now we've got. Uh, excellent little scoops on the side of a 308 so we're just utilizing those uh, for the coolant of these two radiators one here one there there's fans the other side as well off the thermostats so they'll kick in once the motor requires uh, a little bit of cooling and uh, over here which you can't see so I'll flip the uh, video around so the other thing we've got in the rear here that we've uh, done is the header tank for the coolant system and um, 12 volt battery box uh, and just out of sight down there is the actual pump for the coolant system uh, and there's a little uh, panel we put on here to safely uh, and securely mount these as well so that's about it in the rear um, next is uh, showing you what we've done in the front actually before I take you around to the front I just remembered one other thing which is the always the big money shot in EV conversions the uh, uh, charge point that we've put in to replace the uh, fuel filler cap so essentially that's all in place now as well so ready to be painted up and connected up in the next phase so here we are at the front of the Ferrari and as you can see we've got another battery box in here we've got eight of the LG Chem batteries in here 20 kilowatt hour battery pack in the front um, 10 in the rear at 25 kilowatt hours so it's a total of 45 kilowatt hours for the car We've also got the charges in here, and there's a couple of things that are buried really that you can't really see, so um, such as the uh, electric uh, vacuum pump for the brakes. Um, uh, we've also got a panel that we've made at the front here. It kind of fills in the void um, where the old radiator used to be, so it prevents our lovely British weather getting into this area. So that's a new panel we put in there, and that'll all get sealed up. And that's pretty much it in the front, really. Um, I'll take uh, the lid off so you can actually see what's within the battery box. So this is inside one of the battery boxes. It's a similar design in the rear. Um, so essentially you've got these lateral bars here which stop any vertical movement for the batteries. 
Still, what's uh, not evident at the moment is the actual mounting design for the actual batteries. Uh, you will cover that off in phase three. Uh, but essentially, that's it. There's a seal that goes on the top here, and once uh, the lid's on, it's waterproofed. Um, there's BMS modules that go within the uh, batteries as well, so all of the um, high voltage uh, is kept within the battery box as much as possible. Obviously, you've got a main cable that's running to the rear. Uh, but that's it essentially for the battery boxes. So that's pretty much it for phase two in this video. Um, welders all packed away or onto the next car, shall we say now. And uh, now it's on to phase three, which is uh, the lion's share of doing the wiring and getting uh, the system up and running now, getting the battery boxes powder coated, the batteries in, the cabling done, etc. So Pretty much next time uh, the car should be within touching distance of actually running really. So uh, I'll see you in the next video and um, yeah, give us a few weeks and we'll get this baby running.